It's so easy to take photos kirunga e to kawe kōrero on your cell phone, however they never make it from the phone to the wall, to the pātū, and even if you do print them out, he itunui kia pai tapatia, it's really expensive to get them framed. Engari, he whakaaro ata mai tōku, but I have a crafty idea using washing tape. Plus, it's a funky way to add colour and a bit of zhuzh to a plain wall. Kia timata tātou, let's get started. Anei ngā tapu tapu, here's what you're going to need. Photographs or prints, different coloured washi tape to create frames, scissors for cutting the tape, blue tack, and some double-sided tape and masking tape. Te mahi tuatahi, the first step is to take out your prints lay them out on the table and position them in the same way you would like them displayed on the wall. It's good to have different shapes and sizes because this adds more fun to the wall. Make sure you leave plenty of space around each picture as we're going to be making washi tape borders around the outside. Ngango huana tēnā, that's looking really sharp. Right, now it's time to grab our washi tape We've got a lot of different colours, a lot of different patterns here that I'm going to use. We're just going to match them up to the pikitia, to the pictures. Make sure the collage matches the space. This collage is going in the dining room. So I'm using the same colours as the dining room with the washi tape. It's going to zhuzh up the plain wall. Koe e wariwari te whānau. Don't forget you need a blank wall. Te āta whakapiri hia ki te tuarau o ia whakaahua. So now what we're going to do is grab the blue tack and add it to the back of each picture. The reason I'm using blue tack on the back of the pictures is so that I can manoeuvre it when I get to the wall just in case I need to make some changes. My canvas awaits. Now all we have to do is transfer the pictures from the table, mai te tepu ki te pātu, onto the wall. I don't think I've got it right yet. I need to move a couple around, so bear with me, Fano Mark. I think this looks really, really good. Kuenei te wahanga, hihiri o te mahi nei. Now it's time for the fun part to add the framing around the outsides to make this wall look beautiful. So all I'm going to do now is add a little bit of masking tape to the edge of the picture so I know how high it goes and how far to the edge it goes. Take one print of the wall at a time, leaving the others there so you know where it goes. We're going to stick masking tape on each of the corners, then a piece of double-sided tape, and then another piece of masking tape, sticky side up over the double-sided tape. The reason why we do this is firstly kia kore ai, so that we don't rip the paint off the wall and secondly we don't ruin the back of the pictures. Now it's time to grab your washi tape. Kia auaha te ahua o ngā taitapa. Be creative with your borders. Nothing has to be the same, nothing has to match. So here's a designer tip. With your bigger pictures, keep the frames simple. However, with your smaller pictures, be as creative as you want. Kia mau te wehi ne. It looks wicked. And a good thing about it as well is when you want to change the pictures, when you want to change the washi tape, or just change the whole look, it's low tech, so everything will come down. The only limit is your imagination.